Hello everyone, uh, this is Sohil Sayyad and uh, as a Salesforce developer today I am going to show you the App Exchange basics of the Salesforce and uh, there are uh, many topics that I am going to cover today. First we will going to learn how to get started with App Exchange, then we will going to co cover the part where we will going to navigate to the App Exchange and show you how it works. Then explore some app exchange listings then we are going to co uh, cover the part where we show the installation part of the app exchange in the salesforce and uh, lastly last but not the least connect and contribute to the app exchange community so here you're going to learn how to connect with the community and how to share your thoughts about a particular app or a component and here you are going to learn about these things so without further uh, any more uh, uh, challenges and uh, any more reading let's just uh, show you by logging in into the salesforce and i'm going to show you how it works so as you can see i have already logged in to the salesforce through my id and here i'm going to search for the app exchange and here you can see the app exchange marketplace and here you will going to see the uh, format of the app exchange how you can access through it the another way you can go through the app exchange is through the website which i already have uh, opened over here but when you click over here you will going to be redirected to the app exchange website which i already logged in so here you can see uh, in a proper way that how app exchange operates so here you can get a basic idea uh, that uh, what app, ex app exchange presents to you uh, basically it uh, gives you the apps uh, the ready-made apps for the salesforce uh, for example let me show you that uh, as you can uh, see over here there are uh, standard applications like sales content and uh, by uh, going through here we can also create our own custom application so if you want a particular uh, functionality without creating that particular app and that can be uh, fulfilled through an app exchange as well you can look for that particular uh, application over app exchange for your requirement as well so the first option which is provided in the app exchange for that is the uh, apps so let let's go back to the app exchange marketplace so that uh, you can learn about that so here mainly app exchange give you three options first is apps then it is components and the consultants so these are the three main uh, uh, frames that it provides you to look into the first one is apps here by clicking on more you can look for the familiar apps or the required apps as you want so for for example let's uh, take uh, one application to see the demo let's take this one okay so as you can see the, there is an option get it now so first of all getting uh, before getting that application you can see uh, the uh, listing or the details of that application this is the free app, uh, uh, app uh, on the app exchange store uh, you can you also get the paid versions of the particular app as well there you will get more uh, 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 complicated and uh, more function uh, with more functionalities application the free uh, applications uh, rather come with some limitations as well so as per your requirement you have to look into it okay or as per your client requirement uh, whichever it is arising okay so in the details section you can see 
uh, how uh, this screenshot have been presented for that particular application uh, okay and uh, then if you uh, scroll down a, a little further bit you will also going to see the other details about that particular app as well so uh, as I all, uh, as I all, also showing you that uh, you can go through the website of appexchange.salesforce.com and here you will get the top categories of the app exchange as well so you get the ca first category as finance human resources and there are further more categories on whichever cloud you are working or on on whichever project you are working you can go through t uh, to that particular category and you can uh, get uh, the details of that uh, particular section so if you are m working for a uh, let's say for a client uh, who has a marketing cloud so you can select uh, in the top categories on the marketing section and here you will going to see uh, applications as well as components based on the marketing only okay so here you need to uh, note this point and here you will going to see that uh, uh, there are you can also filter down uh, your requirement for example if you want a free version you can select uh, the free version here uh, right now by uh, uh, by default it has selected particular things like ratings and all but as per your requirement you can actually uh, select the language in which the application should be or the uh, native uh, filters for example here as uh, shown you can select or uh, see uh, select all and see uh, for all these things uh, other than this there these are the features for uh, for which you are looking for for example you are looking for an application which provides features for health cloud suppose then you can select this and then apply a filter or you can remove this ticks let's say I have removed this ticks and I just put the five rated rated uh, application or a component and the price as the prices goes I will choose the paid version uh, discounted for non profits uh, profits as well and the additions should be let's say I will take the for the developer professional and enterprise and here I am selecting the health health cloud other filters I am not applying languages in let's say in English language I just want this and I will going to apply the filters so now it is looking for the particular filtered applications sometimes what happens you find the application sometimes you don't found the results so let's uh, apply another filters add some more filters I'm going to select all over here and here as well and let's select ratings as well all and only the in the health cloud I'm going to look for the this particular thing and again let's try and find that there is an application regarding health or okay let's uh, take all into consideration and apply the filter okay so uh, there are other categories I think uh, the health cloud for the health cloud there are no uh, such an application let's say for government cloud and other clouds there may be but uh, these are the uh, filtered uh, data that have been fetched from the app exchange store so these are the most popular ones on the top so this will when whenever you uh, select this uh, for example just put your cursor over uh, here you will going to see uh, the basic details of this per uh, this particular uh, product in the app exchange okay so the features you will going to see that that it is a uh, lightning ready okay so you don't have to uh, look around it is working in the lightning or not it has been featured in the, in the lightning as well and rated uh, it has a good rating and it also shows the categories that in which category this particular application falls for example this particular application falls in the category of market and salesforce labs and here you will get a little uh, part of a detail about this uh, particular product that uh, what is the name of this product and how, uh, how it operates okay uh, and if you click on more you will going to uh, see the detailed information about it okay 
you can also see the screenshots uh, how uh, it actually look like when you uh, take it into the consideration and install it and you can also see the reviews of others as well as uh, you can see uh, how many reviews have been provided and what reviews have been provided for this particular uh, product okay so you can read and uh, also see the response of the community in the salesforce about this particular product and as i al already said more details will provide you more details about this and uh, you can also after installing this particular app you can also write a review over it by clicking over here and you can set the headline uh, you can put the stars how 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 much you want to rate this product and you can write a comment on this okay so this is uh, about the product uh, how we can uh, overview a product and how we can rate it uh, now let's move on to another point there which i want to uh, show you so uh, here in this selection in on the website page you get uh, on the right hand side you get this options app exchange trailblazer community trailhead idea exchange events and salesforce help so uh, the main points over here i am going to show you is first of all idea exchange so as you move into the idea exchange you uh, uh, sorry uh, folks uh, i think there is an internal issue regarding this let's uh, just rephrase okay so i think there has been some issues because let's move on okay so let's take the events for a moment to see is there any events regarding uh, any new things in the community okay so uh, there is an option of events so uh, when you click on events you will going to see uh, this uh, different kind of options first of all you can join a community meeting learn salesforce with uh, pyres building your network and you can here register over here and uh, uh, there over over there you will going to uh, see how you can fill the details over there okay so here you can uh, select the city or region where you live in and here will be the options okay so it, this this part you can explore by your own self as well so this is not so, such a thing that you cannot know about so this is not some complicated thing now let's move on further so i just wanted to give the overview about this thing and if you uh, want a detailed uh, information about it you can uh, put a comment uh, in below in the comment sections and uh, you uh, then we will try to make a, a detailed video over that particular topic in the app exchange okay and uh, uh, this is just an overview video uh, guys so uh, if you want a detailed vi video on a particular topic in the app exchange you can put a comment in the comment section and we will try our best to provide a detailed video on that particular topic in this app exchange basics okay okay so okay so uh, there are uh, particular uh, applications or components which uh, will going to be shown in this particular uh, section on the above which will be the uh, which, which will be uh, mainly for the popularity of that particular product or the component it will going to appear in the uh, above section of the app exchange okay so you can go into this uh, particular uh, application by uh, here also and you can click over here watch demo of this particular product like uh, this is sumo scheduler appointment events and field sales scheduling so this is the overview of this particular uh, product and th this is the amount which you have to pay to get an access over here over it this particular uh, product starting at 15 dollar uh, us dollars okay so you can uh, see the price pricing details over here and by clicking on watch a, sp a speed demo you can actually uh, uh, put uh, your uh, email address over here okay. 
and uh, when you send this you will going to get a, a demo you will going to uh, see, uh, be able to see uh, and watch a video over this uh, for this particular product you will going to see the demo of that particular product or a video okay so uh, this is the features that has been provided by the app exchange for so long time now let's uh, see what uh, we have to explore about this particular app exchange as well so uh, lately app exchange also keep on evolving or, or updating this particular website and application as well so uh, it can it may happen that uh, after few months uh, this uh, particular instance that I have shown you completely uh, changes and the uh, the the outer look may be changed uh, by the time because salesforce keep on changing uh, and innovating its uh, app exchange uh, uh, time to time so that the users can know and easily grabs the products that they want okay so it is not a big deal uh, you can easily uh, go into it and uh, look for your requirements as well so that is it about that particular thing and let's uh, go again back and as I already told you you can get the whole applications apps for the requirement from here the other thing is the component so uh, I'm going to click on this particular component so component basically is you can put a particular component in your existing application only okay so you don't need to uh, download uh, download the whole app but uh, rather than that you can download a particular component and then put in your put it in the existing application of yours so here the uh, here you get the same option get it now when you click it uh, uh, you get an uh, options log into the app exchange okay and when i click on open lock screen you can get uh, you get this kind of uh, uh, instance let's show you how it uh, works so sometimes it takes a little time to process so but you don't need to worry okay so this is how you get uh, the options uh, where do you want to install this particular component so you get two options here first that uh, install in this org so you can install this particular component in this particular org which i have already logged into okay so it will going to install over here if i click install here and the other option is install in the sandbox so this option is for uh, testing purposes for example you are not sure that how this component will going to function okay or you don't want to risk the production or uh, uh, for that reason they provide this uh, option that you can install this particular component in the sandbox so you can test this component by installing it, uh, it in the sandbox as well so when for example i click on the install in sandbox what will happen it will going to show me uh, the details of mine and then i can confirm and install once i can if i once i agree the terms and condition and allow the provider you can reject uh, uh, skip this one but you have to click on this one i have read and agreed uh, the terms and conditions and you can confirm and install once you confirm and install click on this what will what what it will it will going to ask you for uh, is for the id password of your sandbox once you enter that then you directly get the installation uh, module and you will uh, be able to install this particular component in your sandbox okay so as per my suggestion you should first install it in the sandbox and then you should install in the production okay because for the testing purpose you should not pr put the production part into the je jeopardy first you should install it in the sandbox so that it can be tested thoroughly and uh, uh, you can uh, you do not get any kind of uh, problems f uh, because of this component in the existing production so if you directly install it if you are going to if for example if you directly install it in the production uh, it may happen that uh, the existing uh, existing uh, part in the production which already is there functioning properly it can affect the chances are low but it can affect so try to install the uh, it in the uh, sandbox the copy of the production 
and uh, then uh, once you test it thoroughly in the sandbox and once you are sure that uh, it works fine then you can move it in the production as well okay so these are the uh, installation part that i have to show you about this now from here only you can change this uh, component store to app store and you can look for the applications the app uh, the down uh, the installation of the app also take the same process for example i click on this application i will get the same kind of uh, get it now feature over here as well and i will get the screenshot for this particular application okay i can get a little bit a, a detail of this i can see a reviewer reviews and provider and uh, here i can get uh, to see that how much features are provide provided okay and here are some uh, customers also installed so uh, this is uh, re uh, recommending that uh, customers have also re uh, installed this particular application okay so uh, if i click on get it now it i will get the same options as i was getting in the component part okay and uh, uh, here also the same process will going to work and the last is the consultants on this consultants part uh, here you will get uh, the same uh, kind of a uh, function again and uh, what sorry uh, over here consults uh, consultant store uh, you can uh, uh, learn more about this particular thing uh, for example what kind of uh, uh, services you want for example so this part uh, we can make a separate video on this particular topic so it is not that vast but uh, we can give you a little bit of a uh, 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 knowledge about this so these are these are the topics that uh, we needed to discuss in in our today's video i hope you uh, learned uh, learned the things uh, about app exchange in this video and i hope that you uh, are going to have a, a good journey in the salesforce and uh, get a better knowledge from this particular video about app exchange if you have g uh, gained any uh, knowledge from this video about app exchange you can share like and comment on this videos and this is it guys so thank you so much and uh, try to uh, learn about more about app exchange you will get so many uh, other uh, stuff from youtube to learn about this but if you want a, part, a video on a particular topic you can come uh, put always put a comment on that particular topic and we will try to make a separate video on that particular topic so thank you so much guys and have a nice day and let's uh, put it uh, like this only and let's continue